A mysterious criminal who calls himself the Eagle is plotting against the directors of an airplane factory whom he has tried to frighten with warnings written on the sky in smoke and fire. The directors have reason to suspect that the Eagle is Nathan Gregory, owner of a small carnival show, who has accused them of stealing from him an invention that is worth a fortune. Craig McCoy, stunt flyer with the carnival, learns that Gregory and his daughter Jean have gone to the factory for a showdown with the directors and follows to protect them. You built this business on the invention you stole from me. Let McCoy go and I'll sign over all my rights to the invention. Do you really mean to say that you had such an invention? Certainly I did. Then it's you who've been threatening us. No, I've never threatened you. That's just a charge you've trumped up against me because you robbed me and wanted to get rid of me. Oh, that's idiotic. Now, wait a minute. You can't buy the Coy's release from us, Gregory. In the first place, we haven't got it. In the second place, we're not afraid of your claim. We bought a legitimate patent from the man who invented it. Prove that last statement, and I'll believe you're not holding McCoy prisoner. Green, you bought the patent. Isn't the bill of sale in the safe? Why, why yes, of course. Get Certainly. it. Get it, will you please? All right. Here it is. here just after the lights went out. It's all clear to me now. McCoy has been trying to blackmail us on the strength of what you told him about your invention. That isn't true, is it, Craig? No, it isn't. One of these men is a blackmailer who is trying to get control of the company by scaring the rest of them into selling their shares. Oh, nonsense. He came here to get that bill of sale and struck you down to get it. Searching, boys. He hasn't got it. Well, if he hasn't got it, where is it? Well, gentlemen, no one has left the room since the bill of sale disappeared. Why don't you all submit to a search? That sounds reasonable to me. I'll be the first. But who's going to do the searching? Well, Mr. Gregory was unconscious when the paper disappeared. And he couldn't have taken it. So why don't you let him do the searching? All right.
Dickinson. The window. The Dickinson. Look here. Thanks, Jean. Get the bill's sale. It's in the wastebasket. Wait. Whoever put it in there will be back to get it. Now's our chance to find out who's at the bottom of all this trouble. Don't move. I've got you covered. I knew the guilty man had come back for that paper. So you're behind all this, are you, Major Evans? No, you're all wrong. I knew the bill of sale was hidden in the basket, and I, I came back here for the same reason you did, to catch the thief when he returned. Then why were you reaching into the waste paper basket? Well, I just wanted to Look, make sure... Look! The waste basket! Wait a minute. I know who got it. It was Green. I recognized the ring on his finger. Well, that clears you. Yes, but they'll never believe it until you get the bill of sale back. Police, I'll have to make a run for it, but I have a plan to get that bill of sale back. Now, listen. This gives us two chances. If the first one fails, I'll be there to make my play, and we're bound to win. Get your father in the car and get the motor running. I'll be there. I thought sure the troop would keep the show going. Well, what's the matter? Why isn't the show going on? Double-crosser has clapped an attachment on it for the two we have to pay you uh, Mr. Gregory? Yes.
forgot your hat. Give it to me. Wise guy. Oh! Never mind, Daddy. We'll get the show back somehow. But it's... It's all I had. No, it isn't, Mr. Gregory. You're still the inventor of an aeroplane attachment that's making a fortune. Yes. For the directors of the Evans Airplane Company. Yes, but Major Evans is on our side now. What good does that do? Plenty. Green turned off those lights and snatched that bill of sale away from you because it's a forgery. And I'm going to prove that to Major Evans. But what good does that do, Father? Well, when Major Evans knows that Green's claim is a fake, you'll recognize your father's rights and give him a square deal. You could buy a dozen carnivals then, Dad. I'm leaving in a minute to go after that villa sale. And I think with your help, we can get it. You can always count on me, brother. Sure. <laughs> well, now, here's what we'll do. Well, Skipper, I think our troubles are about over. Come on, Henry. I'm glad you've come. I'm tired of running from the law. The directors have withdrawn their charges against you, Gregory. It's Craig McCoy we want. He's not here. Okay, but he's on his way here and we'll wait till he comes. Major Evans to see you, sir. Have you got the bill of sale, Green? Why, what makes you think oh, that? Oh, come on, don't stall. We've got to work fast. Gregory and his gang are on their way here to get it right now. crazy to take that out of there. They'll never know where to look for the safe. They'll ransack the whole house. Don't take any chance. McCoy. Housebreaking, huh? Phone the police, Major. The line's dead. Somebody's cut the wire. Oh, yeah. Why did you come sneaking into my house? To get the bill of sale. Hmm. I see. And how did you plan to get that bill of sale? Well, I figured on getting in here and finding out where the safe is. And you'll admit I accomplished that much. Yeah. And then, well, then I planned to knock the vase over so that you'd come running in. And that worked out all right. All right, go on, keep talking. Well, my next move was to keep you talking while my partner got into the next room and sneaked the bill of sale out of the safe. And we seem to have accomplished that, too. Uh, a trick, eh? Bring him in here. <laughs> Shh. 
you sure had me worried with that cock and bull story. Well, if you think that bill of sale is in the safe now, you still have something to worry about. What's all the kidding about, anyway? All right, Major, keep him covered. And now, Mr. Green, I'll relieve you of that paper. Stand back, McCoy. Give me the paper, Green. Come on, give it to me. So you've double-crossed me, have you, Major? Well, you're not so smart. Don't move, Evans. Always have two or three strings to your bowl, Major. You're a fool. We're in a fine jam now. Give me that bill of sale. Come and get it. <laughs> 